Section 7.3b is about elimination using subtraction. I want to tell you why we have to turn to subtraction now. And the answer is, if I were to try to add 5 and 9, I would not get a 0. And if I add 2 and 2, I wouldn't get a 0. So nothing would be eliminated. So because the t variables have coefficients that are the same number, subtraction is, is what I'm going to use here. So 5 minus 9 is negative 4s. And 2 minus 2 is 0. That's why I did subtraction here. And then 6 minus 22 is 16. So now solve for s. Divide by negative 4. So s equals negative 4. Substitute that in. Um, I like the first one. So 5 times negative 4 plus 2t equals 6. This is a negative 20, so I'll add 20 to both sides. Uh, 2t equals 26. Divide both sides by 2. t equals 13. My answer should be written alphabetical. Negative 4 first, 13 second. Here's an elimination problem. Notice the coefficients of the x are the same. When the coefficients are the same, subtraction will eliminate them. 4 minus 4 is 0. 1 minus 2 is negative 1y. Now be careful here, negative 9 minus negative 10. I'm going to write that over here so you see it. Remember, minus a negative, you have to add the opposite inverse. That's really a negative 9 plus 10. So that's going to be a 1. Dividing both sides by negative 1, and you get y equaling negative 1. I'll plug that now into the first equation. So 4x plus negative 1 equals negative 9. I'm going to add 1 here to get rid of that. So 4x equals negative 8, and then divide both sides by 4. So x equals negative 2. Um, alphabetical, so negative 2, negative 1 is my solution. Here's an elimination problem again. The coefficients of the y's are the same. So I will subtract them. 6 minus 2 is 4x. 2 minus 2 is 0. Negative 10 minus negative 10. Again, I'll write that out. Minus a negative is the same as negative 10 plus 10, which is 0. So divide by 4. 0 over anything is just 0. So I'm going to take that and plug it into the bottom one. So 2 times 0 plus 2 times y equals negative 10. That's just a 0. So 2y equals negative 10. We'll divide both sides by 2. So y equals negative 5. Um, alphabetical, 0, negative 5, then is my solution. Here's elimination. Coefficients are the same here, so we'll subtract. Um, negative 4 minus negative 4 is the same as negative 4 plus 4 because you're adding the opposite inverse. That's why you get a 0 here. I just wanted to show that to you. 2 minus 1 is 1n, and 6 minus 8 is negative 2. So we plug that in. I'll go with the bottom one. Negative 4m um, minus 2 because you make it plus a negative 2. So then we'll add a 2. So negative 4m equals 10. Divide both sides by negative 4. And you get m equals negative 5 halves, um, or that's a 2 and a half, or it's 2.5. Either way you want to think. I, I like this way, which is fine. Um, negative 5 halves, and then negative 2 for alphabetical order.